Hey everyone, my name is Kathleen and I just wanted to make this a quick video to show some remedies that I have found for my embroidery machine. I have the Brother LB5000, I believe. LB5000, yep, I believe that's like the same thing as the SE600. Uh, mine is like the Marvel version of it, uh, which just means it came with Marvel stickers. Um, and that is my cat. And so, yeah, I was so new to sewing. I was so new to embroidery. I had no idea what I was doing. Every time I would try to do anything, I would get really bad bird nesting. So this video is going to be all about bird nesting and the things that I personally did to help minify that because I couldn't really find a lot of content online about it, honestly. It was kind of just a lot of the same things that weren't really doing anything for me. And honestly, a lot of my issues were just stupid beginner issues that like nobody really talks about. So this is very, very bare bones. If you are like advanced in embroidery and you're having issues, this probably is not the video for you. This is like really stupid mistakes that I have made. Um, and how to fix it. So yeah, let's get into the video. All right, so here is my machine and I'm going to start with the first tip that I think is the most, the most useful, at least for me. So that is these uh, spool nets. So you can get these on Amazon. My machine actually came with one and it's like kind of broken. I have to get another one, but this I believe is what has saved my embroidery. So I wasn't using these before. And the second I started using them, things started turning up for me. So this helps with um, getting proper tension. So I was having a lot of tension issues, which is what bird nesting really comes down to. So these really, really, really help with tension. They help the straight, the thread get pulled at the correct tension. Um, from what you're set on your machine. So definitely, if you're having issues and you have not tried this yet, go on Amazon, they're really cheap, get some and see if that can help. Another thing is I was really dumb when it came to threading the machine. So when I would originally thread the machine, I didn't really know about this little guy right here, this number six. Um, where you have to actually thread the string. So you need to thread after you go up and down, up and down. You gotta thread it through this little six guy um, and then you thread through the needle, whatever. Um, but I wasn't doing that and that definitely was have, making me have a lot of issues with my machine. So if you're dumb like me and you don't know how to properly thread the machine, there's another trick that maybe you're having issues with. Um, another thing is I, whenever you do have bird nesting, you always have to make sure that you open this little compartment up and clean out anything inside. So my machine just has these two screws right here that I take out and then this whole plate can come out and you can just um, use compressed air or really just anything tweezers your hands um, and get out all of the strings that are stuck in there. So that's very important if you're not doing that that's probably why you're having some issues. Another thing is the bobbin thread. So I was using my embroidery thread as my bobbin thread. So I was, when I was finished with the ones that came with the machine, I took my embroidery thread, I put my bobbin in, in here and I um, used that. And that I believe was giving me issues. So I have recently gone on Amazon, um, picked up this pack of, a bunch of pre-round bobbins. I actually bought some other ones from this uh, website called All Stitch, and this was recommended to me by someone that does a lot of embroidering. Um, I got this style. Um, so these have definitely helped a lot. I think that that was one of my issues was that I was using the embroidery thread for my bobbin. So if you are doing that as well and you're having bird nesting issues, I would highly recommend either. They work the same. These are a little more expensive. So I would just go on Amazon, find some with good reviews for embroidery. Um, that's what this one is. I can even link it in the description um, so you can get these exact ones because I have, as you can see, tried a couple of the white ones out and they work perfect. 
So yeah, those are just some tips that I have. I hope this helps someone because I had so many issues in the beginning. And yeah, so thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll be glad to help. Thanks, bye.